Hi, everybody. Welcome again to another week. I feel like these go by so fast, I barely have time to uh, catch up. So um, let's see. I didn't really plan a lot. Little things to talk about this week. Um, I'm going to read the cards for Thursday, for Wednesday and Thursday in this reading, and then do a separate uh, uh, moon read as we have a rare blue moon this month, right? Two moons in two full moons in one month. So that that watch for that. That'll be come separately and it will be accompanied by a meditation. It sounds like just looking through the blue moon stuff that uh, the focus is going to be on balancing our own personal energies. So probably attach some kind of chakra meditation to keep us aligned and in balance. Um, the other thing going on this week is uh, Uranus just moved into retrograde. Um, so that now puts six planets and Chiron uh, all in retrograde. So generally when and this happens this time, close to this time every year, um, the outer planets all go into retrograde at the same time, which is, it's kind of nice. It, it is you know, it does come up as a um, a reprieve kind of time where we can slow things down, reflect a bit, and, you know, again, all those RE words continuing into this week. Um, so there, it's interesting, though. So it, it gives us the opportunity to, like, slow down and check our energy. Um, it's also a really good time to kind of not... Like take time before making a decision. Go through all the, all the you know the pros and cons or whatever you have to do. So not just jumping right into something, um, and especially with like Mercury in there. Not you know signing contracts, taking on new new ventures, that kind of thing. So um, I'm gonna focus this read though for the week with uh, Uranus going into retrograde. So. Some of the themes with that are going to be releasing the old, so we're still in that pattern. Um, just It's a time period that's coming up where we need to be able to welcome change, because it's coming. change is coming fast and furiously at us. Um, it's a time for us to think differently or, you know, again, that big picture thinking, but stepping out and, and being open to because lots of new is on its way in um and then really focusing and and being i don't want to say assertive but again coming into boundaries so um being true to yourself and you know not making decisions based on other people's needs wants that sort of thing it's very important that we're making decisions on things that were, you know, that benefit us. Um, and really a lot of it focuses around going with the flow. So as the new comes in, just being open and welcoming it. Um, and the key piece for the Uranus in retrograde is it's usually a time of full on spiritual awakening. So I do think that's the process that we're really in right now that a lot of, you know, um, a lot of us new people are coming online, but a lot of us that have been doing lots of work, even if it's just been for a couple of years, we're starting to see things in a different way and starting to understand these energies in a different way. So just, yeah, just kind of like going with the flow on that and, and approaching everything with ease and grace and, and be welcoming of these new changes. Because, you know, for most of us, change is really hard, right? Um, and and we don't like things we don't know and then, you know, and how to deal with them. So just give yourself a lot of grace um, and just try to relax and rest through it is my suggestion. Um, yeah, so that's the, the happenings of the week. There's also, I'm, doing, I'm still doing some research on it, but there's what's called a yod. It's a certain lineup of, of planets and stars. Um, 
But the yod is always referenced to being the finger of God. So there is another shift. I, I believe that's into September. So starting September 1st, heading in to all about the 12th. So we probably won't cover that a lot in this video because I'll try to do some further research and find out what it means. But it definitely, I feel, means something very specific. Um, again, just in us getting more answers and understanding of what's going on. Um, and of course, the blue moon this week. I, I've just been picking up, and we'll talk more about this in the blue moon read. Um, I've just been picking up that it is the proverbial saying around the blue moon is once in a blue moon. I feel like something really unique, really, um, yeah, there's, something's going to happen in, in our lives that's rare and unique. And I'm getting lots of positive vibes around this. So it's not like a, although, you know, part of the blue moon, full moon thing is that there's, you know, sudden changes or surprises. So, but surprises, you know, shocking surprises, that is what they usually call it, but it doesn't always have to be something bad. Um, it just is like, it's so rare and new to us that we're just like, Whoa. <laughs> anyway, that's the feeling I've been getting. Let's take a look at what the cards say, and then we'll get into the day by day. And I am going to read every day this week, right through to Sunday, just in case I don't get holding space done. But if I do, I think the focus of holding space will be whatever this, the finger of God, the yod is pointing to. So I'll spend my week doing that research. Yeah. This week is big time spiritual awakenings happening for for new people and people who've been doing this forever. 17, the star card. It says, I, sorry, I can't read this one. <laughs> I am always growing with wisdom and spiritual knowledge. Yeah. So the theme of this week is awakening, spiritual awakenings. Um, that doesn't have to be something monumentous, right? It could just be a little epiphany you have of how to work energy in a certain way. Um, I know that like over the last week in doing readings for clients and um, and just looking at the, the different information out there, it's really pointing, like I'm having a better understanding of how energy works and a little bit even more about the quantum energy and timelines and whew, which, you know, it's kind of mind blowing stuff. It's hard to describe. But it's been really interesting to, to kind of delve into. So I definitely see like changes in there. Oh no, this card's pushing out, pushing out twice there. I, okay, so we also got the friction card. Um, this I don't see this in like a negative way. Friction, friction causes you know action and change. So yeah, this person looks a little bit. I don't want to say pained, but you know, any transformation, unfortunately, is not going to be uh, always super pleasant, right, as we're going through it. But when we come out the other side, it's, you know, all these beautiful colors are awakening. So um, all I'm getting is the diamond analogy, right? Like, you know, diamond needs, coal needs that pressure and friction and all of that to to create this, you know, the, the shiny gemstone of a diamond it doesn't just happen. It's a butterfly analogy too, right? Like, you know, there's tumultuous change going on to that caterpillar inside that cocoon. Lots of friction, lots of movement. So basically for this week, just know like the, the challenge, I don't want to call them challenges, but the that, that energy is still coming in um, where it's going to like squeeze us a bit and make us, you know, make us work through these challenges so that, you know, on the other side, we can step into our diamond light body, right? So yeah, it's the same kind of as last week, just, you know, keep persevering, don't give up. I know, I, I mean, you guys, I'm right along with you. <laughs> like, I feel like everyone's at a different stage of development in their spiritual awakening, but I am like, you know, nobody is greater or better or further along or anything like that. So 
we're all going through the same things just on in different ways and different levels. So that, that's why I always have been kind of really, you know, saying like it's the time is coming for us to connect as a community. Okay, so for the portal, we got serious star blessings. Yes, proceed, be seen. So that goes back to that, be your true self, be true to yourself and be true in your pr presentation of self. And the last word is push through. So yeah, we got a little bit of friction this week. Again, just keeping in mind, either the butterfly analogy or the diamond analogy. Those two things have to happen. That friction has to happen in order to catalyze us forward. So whatever we're going through this week, it might suck. Um, but just again, don't give up and keep pushing through. Let's see what the day by day has to say. All right, taking a look here at Monday. Um, just want to talk a bit about the cards I chose first. I'm not really sure, just being guided to like mention this. So I'm bringing back in our Aloha spirit. Um, and then it was like the rose oracle and the, um, I just forgot. Oh, the starseed or starseed uh, oracle. Um, just for whatever reason, just like soft pastel colors and soothing and the more that was just kind of coming in. I don't know why. And it's, I feel like it's like, we need a week of, of softening, of being a little lighter, um, not so, even though like we're going to go through this, this period of change. Um, yeah. Um, to do it with, you know, as much grace and ease as possible for, um, for our soul. So let's take a look at Monday here. And I realize as I record this, it's already passed. So hopefully I get this up in time, but you can always compare it backwards. Let's <laughs> see how your day was. Yeah, I know my Monday was okay, but it was, there definitely was, I don't want to say an intensity in there. It wasn't even an intensity. It was almost like a spaciness. Like I didn't feel super connected to this planet yesterday <laughs> for most of my day. All right. Interesting. We got two cards. Um, the first one, 17, we keep getting number 17. Uh, the glow of individuality. Adjust your life to own your spark. Mm. That's coming into play with that Uranus in retrograde, right? Be true to yourself. Being true to yourself and your needs and your wants and your desires, right? So as we're going through this transformation and the spiritual awakening, what works for you? not what works for others, really focusing and honing in on that. Um, it sounds like it's like, it feels, it feels like it's of the utmost importance to our soul at this time. So really, really, you know, defining you and your truth. The other card we got is uh, 18. <laughs> they must've been stuck together. <laughs> but we got, it's feminine inspiration. Find strength in your sisterhood. So again, like this is also, you know, for any men watching, that doesn't disclude you, right? We all have feminine energy. So it's right when I was picking these cards, that's the feeling I'm getting is like, we need to insert some more uh, nurturing, caring, feminine energy to the situations this week. So being gentle with ourselves, mothering ourselves, taking care of ourselves. Um, because we also got come to me, which is attracting like a rose, receive abundance and desires. Again, the desires word is in there. It's really asking us to tap in to us and say, what do I, what do I really need to manifest? Right? More love, more, you might need some like a financial abundance, but it's a continuation then of saying to us, keep doing the work on the manifestation, but try not to be so harsh about it, right? Like we can still have friction, but we can lower the level of it in our lives. So we can be going through all these changes, 
Um, but we still want to be doing the manifestation work. Like that seems to be coming up, but softening a bit and not being so hard on ourselves. That's, I think, the really key for Monday. And the last card we got is Child of the Cosmos. The intelligence of the universe lies within you. It's kind of interesting. This is the piece that we're all forgetting, right? At the end of the day, we, we're getting so hard on ourselves. Um, we already know how to do this. We've just forgotten. So it's not a matter of trying to learn something new. It's trying to reawaken something that's already part of us um, and remembering the truth about who we are. And that seems to have been the theme for the last couple of weeks. So, so Monday, keep doing some manifestation work, but try to slide in some softer, more feminine uh, caring and attention for yourself. All right, Tuesday. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like this week, it's interesting. There's going to be a lot shifting and changing, but it's really asking us to stay calm and centered and, uh, and just go easy, go with the flow. Just, yeah, just don't, like, don't push and, and struggle so hard. I feel like we've been kind of struggling. <laughs> um, and it's, it's wearing on all of us. We're all a bit tired. Um, so it's easier to come into a, a big change. Uh, you know, so we're not totally beaten down and battered. So again, that just always comes back to the good self-care. right? And that's like, when I say self-care too, it's like, make sure you're doing the mental self-care things too. Like, if you feel like you're, you know, thinking too much, overthinking, you know, find ways to combat that with like grounding activities or getting out in nature, trying to clear your head for a little bit. Okay. Tuesday, get strong energy. We got partnership with the divine, a date with spiritual renewal. That's awesome. So Tuesday. I would say carve out some time to fill your soul back up, spiritual renewal and connecting to the divine. So if that is going out in nature for you, make sure you can carve out five minutes for that. Even if it's just in your backyard or out on your front porch, um, watch the birds, watch the changing leaves, even though we don't want to admit that. <laughs> um, and the other energy we got is the great mother which is surrender to the mystery fall into her arms interesting right so it's like we really getting the push like this is just too much we're doing we're trying so hard and doing too much and we're wearing ourselves out and now the divine is saying the divine and the divine mother are like let me hold you let me cradle you and I will, you know, sing like songs and stories of wisdom to you. So it's kind of like get into that place of a like of really good meditation, right? Often the friction that's going on. The change is going to be happening anyway, but find a way to, you know, rest, relax and connect with the divine. And the divine is just saying, I've got your back. I'm going to hold you through this. Um, yeah. And then we got the blue flame. Spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. Oh man, that's a good one. And that's the thing about integration is as these energies are coming in, it is a lot. There's like, and, and we don't really like interpret like what is going on. Like, and so it needs time to integrate. The best way that I have ever found to integrate an energy or allow a new system to come in um, for like, for your use is is rest and relaxation is like really allowing that energy to flow through you so yeah i'm just getting like we're just being asked to like to lay down and allow the and trust and allow the divine to hold and nurture us during the beginning part of this week so they're like you could use a rest that's what i'm hearing too everybody could use a rest so even if it's something like where you just take five minutes in your day and go, you know, go back in your 
I like to like, I, I'm pointing at my bedroom. So I like to go there and I have the window open and I can see my trees and stuff. And I just like to like sit there and watch for just five minutes. And, you know, and that sometimes is enough to like calm my soul and be at peace. So that I think is what we're looking at for this week is doing this as easily and gracefully as possible. All right, what is on tap for Wednesday? Sometimes fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just really getting that feeling of like, we just all, like I feel like we, we just all made a hammock and we just <laughs> go sit outside and swing in it. Uh, interesting. Okay. Nope. Okay, interesting. Sometimes the cards will jump out at you and sometimes they lock up. Oh my gosh. So my, <laughs> there's a lot of feminine energy this week. I, I don't know if it's just because of these cards that I chose, but 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 really integrate and tap into that because it's you know it's what we need to to move this forward, but do it in a soft and like soul-filled manner so the first card we got is crowning moment celebrate your accomplishments so what i'm hearing is this like look at how far you've come already you know i always say to people like if you, if i had told myself the stuff that i'm learning and integrating and knowing right now 10 years ago i would have been like <laughs> a laugh like just laugh wholeheartedly um so you know and i know a lot of you that watch this you're just on the beginning of your journey but think about how fat like how far you've come in just like even one year or two years like we're almost completely different people than we were like a year ago or two years ago so give yourself credit where credit is due that's a lot that's coming up this week too right it's part of that be true to yourself, like, you know, believe in yourself and, and love yourself and know yourself. Yeah. We also got the grandmothers, which is remember your roots, perspective, trust the weavings. Yeah. It's like, this is, I mean, this has all been destined. This was always going to be the way. Um, Perspective is a great thing. We need to step, we still need to do that step back and observe because we've never done this before. Um, but we have all the backing of this ama amazing feminine energy of all the ancestral grandmothers and remembering, you know, whether that's your immediate family or your star family or your past lives. It, it's like just step back and know. I've really like the really big push for this week is like believing in ourselves, taking care of ourselves, being easy with ourselves and not pushing, pushing, pushing. Um, and just really, you know, knowing that like the ancestral side has us, the, the, the vine has our back and just kind of resting into it as these changes start to occur. We also got cracked open. <laughs> This is like almost, it sounds completely, but I get it. Rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about you, but I have been feeling like over these last couple of days, even weeks, it's like, like, I feel like humanity is at rock bottom. Like, I'm like, really? Can we go any further down? Um, and is there going to be the redemption moment? And the answer is yes they've got our back. Um, it's, it's this energy shift is happening. It's just, it's always meant to happen. And we do have to crack ourselves open and, and allow this change to happen. Like that's the thing too, is it's not even just about just allowing it, but it's, it's, it's surrendering to the flow of it with going with the flow. So you can make this really hard on yourself and fight it all the way through and overthink it and challenge, you know, and succumb to the challenges and the muck and the mire and be down in the pits. Or we can just take a breath and feel the love and the comfort that we're getting from 
from spirit, from the from the divine, from the ancestors, and allow, you know, I'm sure a cracking open process isn't pretty, right? But allowing it to happen and just know that everything's okay and this is what's supposed to be happening. So ooh, we got it like it's an intense, but not they want it to not be intense. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay, so that's Wednesday. All right. Let's see what's on tap for Thursday. Yeah, I kind of, I'm, part of me as I'm reading this is like pretty grateful for this, this week because I do feel like it is a little bit of a time for us to, to rest and recharge, especially, like I said, with all this retrograde going on, it, it allows us that time and space. Um, before we head into, you know, we're heading into equinox and then eclipse season. And, you know, I feel like, again, it, it, it seems like this year in particular, we get like these two or three weeks of reprieve where it's not as intense. And then it's just like, <laughs> like full steam ahead. So, but nothing to panic about. Just again, keep doing your vision work, what you want to see, what you want to feel. Um, and just don't put too much pressure on yourself. There's already pressure on us, right? The, the diamond analogy, the pressure's already there. The friction's already there. We don't have to create more at this time. <laughs> All right, Thursday. For, forgotten treasure. Restore, restore, there's a nice R-U word, your power and vulnerability. Interesting. So... Yeah, again, I just, I'm just drawn to this, like, reflection, more reflection, more time spent looking at not just what you've done and what you've accomplished, um, but just how powerful we are. I, this is the big, this seems to be the big fight right now is people just do not believe in themselves and, um, and that, that we're capable of so much more. And I think that it, you know, it does, it's not going to stop what's coming, but it like, it slows that energy down. So it's just like, we have to start, you know, believing in ourselves. Like big time. <laughs> we also got the rose thread, which is inner call, soul led, the mystic, living courageously. Woo! If there was ever a card that said, could you please just believe in yourself? <laughs> You're already doing it. That's what I keep, I've said that to so many people during reads this week. I'm like, you're already doing it. We think we're, we think we're not doing anything or, you know, it's like, no, just, just even the fact of us being here on this planet and being, and participating in this is like, that's what we came to do. <laughs> There's nothing more we have to do um, except act when given our calling, when our soul gets that ping that inner call um, and step into the mystic and start to be that. <laughs> we also got, oh, I love this card, the name of it, surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy. Again, this, this week, lots of feminine energy coming in. Pleasure, joy, make love to life. Interesting. I, I have to say, like, of all the things with, in the third dimension, <laughs> is like, I've been really like struggling with that, like feeling of like, I'm just not finding anything that's making me super joyful. Like, you know, and I feel like we're just at this precipice where it's going to feel like that until we shift through. And maybe that's the purpose of the blue moon. Um, cause this is the Wednesday read, right? So, or Thursday read. So we're just on that energy of the mood of the moon. Sorry. And so I feel like, again, that unique event, or it's not even necessarily that it's going to be an event, but just like, like something awakens within us and this, our soul knowing goes ping. And it's like, oh, I get it. Um, and hopefully, you know, once we understand that we can bring in more, more joy into our lives, right? So we're going towards the new, um, which should be more joyful and not as like, you know, low energy and down in the, 
muck in the mire. So, all right, that's Thursday. All right, looking at Friday. Yeah, okay, so now this is good. The beginning of the week was like, I don't wanna say it was challenging, but it was just definitely new energy, different ways of needing to look at things. Um, then yesterday, Thursday, starting to tap back in to that element of joy. Um, and you'll see why I'm saying that. Okay, so for Friday, we got revel, in the wave. Enjoy the exuberance of the experience. So tells me a couple things. The energy is going to start to pick back up by the end of the week. So more forward movement. But I really feel like that rainbow is super important in there. And it's just like, you know, it's almost like, yeah, so we were in the middle of these two energies, old energy, new energy with one foot on either side. And by the end of the week, we can start to see how we move more fully and permanently into this, uh, this wave of energy. Fun. Okay, we also got the return. A new story. You decide. Alignment. It's coming together. So yeah, end of the week, good. We're shifting into this new energy, finally. Um, we also got lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. Again, just a reminder that it's like, it's not that we, we don't understand how to do this. It's just that we've forgotten. So by the end of the week, um, I think that's probably with that blue moon in there, it's going to ping something off in us where it's like, we make those connections and it's like, oh my God, I, I can do this. And this is me. And I can stand in my like power and my truth right now because I know how to do this and I believe in myself. So if that's the only place we get to by the end of the week or having more joy in our life, then hooray, we've done our job for the week. <laughs> okay, that's Friday. Let's see what Saturday's got going on. That one flipped. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> interesting. Saturday, we have Sage Advisor. Seek the guidance of lived wisdom. This is going to be different for everybody, but what it feels like is like, again, that calling is coming to bring community together. So whether you know who this person is and you just need to sit and have a cup of tea with them and re-listen to their wisdom, or if there's a course or a class coming online or in person um, or a new group, that you're getting together with, with who ha happens to have, you know, a sage leader. Um, this, this is coming, this energy is coming in for us on Saturday. Um, so you may not meet that person that day um, or your, your new group of people, um, but you might find the ad for it or like the, like, hey, we're starting this class on this day. So be looking out for that stuff because it is, you know, we're definitely coming to this point where it's like that the lone wolf stuff is over and we do need to start, you know, gathering our energies together and working together. We also got the bloom. Creations realized the right time, harvest, celebrate. Better to celebrate with people. <laughs> because we also got messenger, which is serious energy bringing harmony and balance. Perfect. We, you know, we need that energy in right now where, where we're feeling a little more um, content and secure 
uh, with this shift. So there's definitely like on that blue moon, there's definitely some energetic shift going on. We'll do a full read separate for the moon. Um, and see what it says, but within those couple days before and after, it really is going to change the way we look at things, but also it's, it's going to change the energy around, um, just our, our knowing and our understanding of what is really going on. So just be, be ready for that. The first, it sounds like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is really gearing us up for those shifts and changes. Um, Thursday, Friday, those shifts and changes come fully into, to understanding or understanding as we like to say, and we'll see, we'll, we'll do Sunday here and, uh, but that's Saturday. So start looking out for your like-minded birds of a feather. All right. And Sunday, we will do a reading for Sunday. Um, but hopefully, who knows? <laughs> I always love to say I'm going to do holding space Sunday, but it doesn't always happen. My days get away from me. That's what happens when you have a job and a household to run <laughs> on top of a spiritual journey. Oh, that's a lot of cards. Okay, I'm actually going to keep shuffling this because about five came out and we don't have time. <laughs> <sighs> Mm. Wow, this is really interesting. Okay. So, wrapping up the week, we have choose peace for Sunday. Be responsible for your serenity. This is a key thing too, right? Like the person that is our own worst enemy is always us that puts the most pressure, caveats, disbelief on self. Um, it's really important that if we want serenity, we have to create that for ourselves. And how we start to do that is by not being so hard on ourselves. We also got a rose without thorns. You have a right to your joy. Peace. Two peace words for Sunday. And again, this sweetness of life comes up. So it's like really, I know like right now, I feel like it's hard for us to see the 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 good because there's so much intensity going on but we're being like fully reminded that we you know we're just around the corner from joy i have to i was i flipped the card down and another one flipped up so on sunday we also got the sun joy enjoyment life force success vitality play yeah they're just they're just reminding us it's like you know, at the beginning of the week, it was like, don't give up and keep persevering. I feel like we're just on the brink of like, but we have to invite that joy in. And that might be all that you're for your alignment for the week, that you're just like, I want to be aligned with joy. If that's your intention every day, like, please show me and bring me things that bring me joy. And you may not know what those are until you're in that moment, but just allow it to happen. This is a big thing about this week and manifest. We've got to ask for it too, right? It's like, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired this week of like lower feelings and energy. And I'm like, yes, I want joy. Bring that joy into my life. Please show me an abundance of joy. Simple, simple mantra. Repeat it every day this week if you have to. Um, and then the last card we got is your life is a canvas. Artist. Manifestation creative accountability right so we create again we create we're the ones responsible for our own serenity no one else is supposed to create it for us and if we leave it to them they're either going to muck it up or they're not going to deliver the way that you that you're really truly believing and feeling we have to this is an inside job and we have to do it ourselves so that's the the thing for the week do it um well, I'm going to do a summary here, but do do it with ease and grace and allow and manifest more joy. And it's funny too, I want, I want to say about the sun card again, anytime the sun card comes up is we could potentially more solar flares to help uh, align us with this energy. So that's Sunday.
Okay, let's sum up this week. So I feel like we got lots of homework during every day, but it was like just nice little easy tasks. Yeah, just keeping our our soul in alignment. So, and that's probably what will be the focus of Holding Space Sunday. Um, like I said, I'll do some more research into that node, but it's, um, or yod, sorry, not node. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the key factors for this week are definitely that the blue moon and the, um, um, and just like all the planets in retrograde, right? Yeah. Cause that's one of the things too, is that Chiron is in retrograde. So it's important to, um, that's part of healing and health. So making sure we're taking care of that too. By the end of the week, we got the Wheel of Fortune. Um, there are an infinite number of possibilities in my life. Yeah, it's just confirming, like, like we're already doing this. Everything's going to be fine. Stop putting so much pressure on yourself. The friction's already there, and you're going to turn into the diamond regardless. Like, you don't. we don't need to speed it up. We don't need to try to um change or correct it or micromanage again like you don't micromanage the universe hmm, it's that one oh, okay so at the end of the week we got the unity card i just love this because this is ultimately on this planet the goal right for all of mankind to come together and be together in as one as we are as we are meant to be um yeah, I love this card because it's a nice hopeful nod to the fact that, you know, angels and spirit have the, have earth in hand and this plan is coming together. And again, it's just easier if we don't fight, if we don't struggle so much as the process happens, like allowing it and observing it and being a part of it without too much struggle. I read a quote the other day and I kind of liked it. And it was like, you're not failing. If when you're struggling, you're not failing. It's you're just struggling, right? It's not a failure. It's just, you're going through some challenges and some changes. All right. Last card, Pleiadian activation, coming together, harmony in the heavens, resolution. Oh, hooray. End of the week, unity and resolution. All of this division, even within ourselves, misalignment, all of that coming to resolution by the end of the week. But remember, you create your own happiness, your joy, start moving more into those energies, asking for those energies, having opportunities come to you because of your manifestation for wanting more joy, peace, serenity in your life. These are definitely the things that we should be asking for as part of our manifestation work. So yeah, another week of just really uh, going with the flow and learning how to navigate and bring things in and, and birth new things and create new things. And yeah, it's exciting. It's, it's not easy, I'll admit it, but it's exciting. So have a good week. Take care of yourselves and I love you.